All right, welcome back, everybody. We back again with episode five, season five. The last episode, them crazy sparrows started taking people prisoner. They took Marjorie's brother prisoner. I'm sure Cersei set all that up. All right, well, let's just watch some recap. When I had refused the throne, Aerys reigned whom they called the Mad King. You're Aemon Targaryen. What happened to your face? Grayscale. Two of my sisters had it. They were covered with it. They acted like animals. Ha! Put them in chains. You want me alive so you can torture me? May I introduce my son? Ramsay Bolt. Ellie. Welcome home, Lady Stark. I know three members. You let a halfwit escape with a cripple. And Rick on too, the little one. I told you what would happen if you served me loyally. And what would happen if you did not? Who are you? Your captor. You said you were taking me to the Queen. Queen Daenerys Targaryen. The wise masters asked for the reopening of the fighting pits. Where slaves fought slaves to the death. Opening them would show the people of Lyrene that you respect their tradition. Traditions are the only thing that will hold this city together. That was new. That was our last time. Spark. But it's new. Yeah, from last season. They change it up every season. I knew who date he died. That's very good. I'm so sorry, my queen. He was a good man. Barristan the Bold, they called him. He crossed a continent to serve me. And he died in an alley, butchered by cowards who hide behind masks. We could pull back to the Pyramid District. Secure it, and use it as a base from which to operate. Then, we clean the city out. I prefer your earlier suggestion. Round up the leaders of each of Marine's great families and bring them to me. Hmm. But, I'm the leader of my family. No, you're crazy. I had nothing to do with this! Mm. Yeah, they the ones who doing it. Or they know who's doing it. No, they the ones who doing it because the, the 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 clothing that they have on. It may look vestrid on Separ. Costos Dow. Jevi can not his ex on Don't want to overfeed them. <laughs> she should have burned them all. <laughs> And though Daenerys maintains her grip on Slaver's Bay, forces rise against her from within and without. She sounds like quite a woman. And she's alone, under siege, a Targaryen, alone in the world. It's a terrible thing. Mr. Raymond. Lord Commander. Sam, I'd like to speak to the Maester alone. How are you feeling? 
like a hundred-year-old man, slowly freezing to death. <laughs> I need your advice. There's something I want to do, something I have to do. But it'll divide the Night's Watch. Hmm. You will find little joy in your command. But, with luck, you will find the strength to do what needs to be done. Kill the boy! John Snow, kill the boy, and let the man be born. Hmm. Huh. I was about to say, what boy? Who leads them? They followed Mans. They won't follow anyone else. What about you? Hard to lead when you're in chains. For 8,000 years, the Night's Watch have sworn an oath to be the shield that guards the realms of men. You belong to the realms of men. What would you have me do, Lord Commander? <laughs> and if you go north of the wall, gather the remaining free folk wherever they are and bring them back here. I don't want them to kneel for me. I want them to fight with me when the time comes. The day I ask my people to fight with the crows is the day my people cut my guts from my belly and make me eat them. You're condemning them to death. Worse than death, because you're too proud to make peace. <laughs> well, maybe you're not proud. Maybe you're just a coward. <laughs> Easy thing to say to a man in chains. Your people need a leader, and they need to get south of the wall before it's too late. I'm not asking you to make peace to save your skin. Make peace to save your people. Mm. Most of them are at hard home. I can give you ten horses and nine other men. You can get there in a week. We'll need ships. I talked to King Stannis about lending you his fleet. All right then. You know, here. You're coming with me. You come with me. Or I don't go. <clears throat> you bring my lands here. Through our gates. Men, women, and children will die by the thousands if we do nothing. Let them die. We got our own to worry about. Less enemies for us. Phew. What? <laughs> What do you say? Fewer. We've been fighting them for thousands of years. They've slaughtered villages. They've slaughtered our brothers. And we slaughtered theirs. They killed 50 of our brothers. I can't forget that. You were at the fist of the first men. If we abandon them, you know what they become. We can learn to live with the wildlings, or we can add them to the army of the dead. Hmm. He gonna try to kill him. Thank you. Ollie, if you have something you want to say to me. You don't mean it, do you? You're just doing it to trick them. It's not a trick. They put an arrow through my father's head. And they're dead. I know what it's like to lose the people you love. You know nothing, Jon Snow. <laughs> but winter is coming. We know what's coming with it. Will there be anything else you need, Lord Commander? No, winter is coming. She's far away from the Lannisters. Maybe Lady Sansa's better off here. Better off with the Boltons? Who murdered her mother and brother? Sansa's in danger even if she doesn't realize it. You don't knock? I mean, like, come on now. Thank you. You lived here a long time? Aye. Uh, the Sarks are gone now. Not all of them. I know who's inside that castle. The Boltons. I'm not talking about the Boltons. I need to get a message to her. To Sansa Stark. Who are you? Someone who swore to keep her safe. 
Swore to who? Her mother. You're going to end up dead. Miranda. So you're staring at her? I'm going to marry her. That will involve looking at her from time to time. You said you'd marry me. And I meant it. When I was a bastard named Snow. But I'm a Bolton now. What I want is no longer the primary consideration. You think she's pretty? <laughs> of course I do. I'm not blind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to our wedding night. But don't worry. I'll have plenty of time for you. You're mine. You're not going anywhere. Unless I have to listen to more of your jealousy. Jealousy bores me. You remember what happens to people who bore me. <laughs> You're not going to bore me. Are you, Miranda? Miranda, Eva herself. <laughs> Beg pardon, my lady. I've come to refill the wash basin. Oh, I don't need still have friends in the north. If you're ever in trouble, light a candle in the highest window of the broken tower. Y'all yeah, be putting yourself out there for her and she just chicken crap. <laughs> <laughs> just think all this started right there. Yeah. I like your dress. Who, who are you? I'm Miranda, the kennel master's daughter. I'm sorry for what happened to her. Thank you. I almost forgot. There's something else to help you remember. Mm. Down there, at the end. What is it? That would spoil the surprise. Ain't so crazy. Everybody stay got that old woman, huh? Or the old man, one of them. <laughs> or what's his name? The uh, Reek. <laughs> the old, the young. <laughs> You shouldn't be here. It made her angry, didn't it? <laughs> you smell particularly ripe this evening. <laughs> Pour me some wine. See, if you piss yourself. <laughs> Can't take no baths. He lives in a kennel. Where you? Where you going to take a bath? At? Mm. I mean, when he come out to serve him. Do you have something to tell me? No, my lord. Reek. She saw me. Who? Sansa, Lady Sansa. She saw you. Yes. I'm sorry, Master. Forgive me, I, I didn't think. Come here. <laughs> but you gonna get a child. It was Miranda's fault. I don't know, so damn scared. You mustn't keep secrets from me, Rick. Get on your knees. Oh my god. Give me your hand. Oh lord. I forgive you. Mm -mm. Well, you don't believe in that. <laughs> I'm dead. Boy, crazy. I trust you'll find your chamber suitable, my lady. Yes, thank you, my lord. 
My lady, we are all a family, we northerners. So I'd like to drink to our wedding. May our happiness spread from Moat Kalin to the last half. I ain't drinking bits. <laughs> Being in a strange place. This isn't a strange place. This is my home. It's the people who are strange. <laughs> You're right. Very strange. More wine, please. <laughs> I heard you two had been reunited. Are you still angry with him after he, what he did? <laughs> I punished him for it. Why are you doing this? <laughs> because Rick has something to say to you. <laughs> An apology? <laughs> it's a nanny. Apologize for murdering her two brothers. I'm sorry. An apology doesn't mean anything if you're not looking the person in the eye. I don't think you look anybody in the eye more. <laughs> I'm sorry for killing your brothers. <laughs> the daddy just looking at the sun like... Over and done with. He's like, what the hell is this boy doing? <laughs> you know what, my lady? What with him having murdered your brothers and the rest of your family gone, Reek here. Is the nearest thing to living kin that you have left. Reek! You will give away the bride. <clears throat> yes, yes, very good. Wonderful. Walder and I have some good news as well. Since we're all together. We're going to have a baby. <clears throat> I'm very happy for you. From the way she's carrying, Maester Walken says it looks like a boy. <laughs> Which means you out. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's, it's, I guess they run in the family. How can you be sure mm. that she's pregnant? How can you tell? Has <laughs> assured us beyond all doubt. So, how did you manage it, getting her pregnant? I imagine you're familiar with the procedure. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Find it. You disgraced yourself at dinner. You're worried about your position. You've never asked me about your mother. She was a peasant girl. She was <laughs> the miller's wife. Apparently they'd married without my knowledge or consent. So I had him hanged. And I took <laughs> her beneath the tree where he was swaying. <laughs> into my gates with a squalling baby in her arms. I nearly had her whipped. And the child thrown in the river. But then I looked at you. And I saw then what I see now. You are my son. So mother didn't die at birth. <laughs> okay. No. Stannis Baratheon has an army at Castle Black. He wants the Iron Throne. And the road to King's Landing comes right through Winterfell. Will you help me defeat him? Yes. <laughs> is this every book there is? In the world? Well, no. This library is rather small, actually. Where you grew up with their more books. My father's not the most literate man. <laughs> <laughs> they say the Citadel has the largest library in the world. <laughs> that is by nothing to me. <laughs> Why does the Citadel have the biggest library? It's where they train the maesters. Like Maester Eamon? I wanted to be one when I was young. Instead, I became a man of the Night's Watch. Far more adventure up here, anyway. <laughs> ah, your grace. <laughs> You're Samuel Tarly. I am, your grace. Your father's Randall Tarly. Defeated my brother at the Battle of Ashford. <laughs> Only battle Robert ever lost. You don't look like a soldier. <laughs> Told you killed a White Walker. Did you, Grace? How? Oh. With a dagger made of dragon glass. I've been going through all the old manuscripts hoping to find something. And all I've learned is that the children of the forest used to hunt with dragon glass. Lady Melisandre told me that death marches on the wall. 
You've seen it, Your Grace. Seen what? The army of the dead, when they come. We have to know how to fight them. Keep reading, someone will tell Hmm. At least somebody believe in them. I really don't say that much about standing slow. <laughs> it's time. Uh, Your Grace, wouldn't it be better to wait? When Jon Snow returns with the wildlings, we could have thousands more men. If Jon Snow returns with the wildlings, we can't wait that long. We have to act now. Give the order. We march at sunrise. I'll choose a dozen men to stay and guard the Queen and the Princess. No need to come in with us. Won't they be safer? Yeah. Half these watchmen are killers and rapists. No. They march with us. I can agree with them. Do you think father will let me go down into the crypt? All the kings in the north are buried there. And... First things first. There's a long march ahead. And then we have to take the castle. Is there going to be a battle? My princess. You won't be anywhere There's near... There's enough talk of battles, Sir Davos. You'll scare the child. You get your little bag tail on. I'm not scared. <laughs> well, I am. When the battle comes, I promise you'll protect me. I promise. <laughs> I hope you know what you're doing with these wildlings. We need those ships. You'll get them back. I swear it. Have a safe journey, Your Grace. And thank you. As long as she die in the battle, I'm cool. her by his and I his wife. <laughs> she makes most of the decisions or convinces him. Hey, that's a lot of men. A lot of men. You're still too weak. It's quite fair to Jedi. I still believe that she should gather up all the masters and feed them to the dragons. <laughs> Wounded in war. There is no shame for this. I am ashamed because when the knife go in and I fall to the ground. I am afraid. I fear. I never again see Miss Sunday from the island of Nath. Oh, so sweet. the masters what they deserve. If I give everyone what they deserve, I'll have no one left to rule. Sir Barristan counseled mercy when I took this city right up to the morning he died. Dario Naharis thinks I should kill the former masters and let the rest of the city fend for itself. Mm. What do you think? I can only tell you what I have seen, Your Grace. I have seen you listen to your counselors. I have seen you lean on their experience when your own was lacking. And I have seen you ignore your counselors. <laughs> because there was a better choice. My queen, please do not do this. <laughs> I did not want to die a coward. Apparently, I do not want to die at all. It takes courage to admit fear. I came here to tell you that I was wrong about tradition. I will reopen the fighting pits to free men only. And in order to forge a lasting bond with the Marinese people, I will marry the leader of an ancient family. What? Thankfully, a suitor is already on his knees. What? That, the other guy gonna be pissed. Well, yeah. Dario? <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. I'll be fine. Nothing broken, I don't think. See, he's so in love with her. 
She don't want you. Oh, Tia, he really gonna be distraught when she when he find out she gonna marry somebody. I apologize for before. My mouth sometimes runs away from me. <laughs> I'm like, dang God, how long it's gonna take them to get to there? A lot of time together on the way to Marine. We are. What would make our time together truly enjoyable would be some wine. I knew he was gonna say it. <laughs> of course. I am a person who drinks. People who drink need to keep drinking. Otherwise, they're not. Uh oh. What do you see? What do you see? I know where we are. You're taking us through Valeria. I am. You know what they say? The doom still rules Valeria. A little old small boat. How many centuries before we learn how to build cities like this again? I suppose this is it then. This is what remains. Yep. Yes, what's his name, huh? Drogan. Drogan went back home. <laughs> he all over the place. Hmm. What the heck was that? What? That looked like a White Walker. Or something. Oh, Lord. Stone man. Don't let them touch you. Oh, they got the Great Joy? The Great Joy. Oh. <laughs> great scale. I mean, the Great Scare. Yeah. <laughs> they got the Great Joy. Oh, that's what the dad was telling about the story. Yeah. Uh -oh. Oh, and the girl said they went mad. Yeah. And they sent them all here to, to live out their days. Oh, my God. He jumping dog on water. Dude. Oh my god. Oh lord. What the what? I'm like, okay, it's dark. <laughs> Thought it was over, didn't you? Tyrion. Mm -hmm. Tyrion. Tyrion. You're all right. Okay, drowning deserves a, to release of the. He said, well, "You're heavier than you look." <laughs> Touch you. You. They say did didn't they pull them down? Oh, I got. Uh, I think they got to test their skin. Uh, skin it's been scared before. Nothing like that. I suppose that's why they send them that. I said, great joy. <laughs> Thank you for saving me. Of course, I wouldn't have needed saving if you hadn't kidnapped me in the first place. <laughs> so, what now? We walk up the coast. With luck, we'll find a fishing village. Without luck? We've got a long walk ahead of us. I'll get some wood for a fire. Try to get some rest, huh? That's the best idea you've had all day. That's the city? Yeah. Hey, they just came through? Yeah. Why are you looking all sad? He got touched. <laughs> oh! He got touched. Yep. That's what you get for kidnapping Tyrion. But that's covered up. Oh, maybe because his boot. They grabbed his boot. Could have been. Could have been. 
Well, they were wrestling around on the boat and everything. No, I'm talking about Tyrion. He got touched too because uh, he got grabbed down. So yeah, maybe because grabbed. of his boot. Yeah. He grabbed him by his boot because that's thick. And then his, 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 what's his name? Jora. Who? Jora. Jora. Sound like the Jaja. Star Trek or Star Wars. <laughs> Whichever one that is. Jar Jar. The big old jelly no, it's not Jar Jar. No, that's, that's Jabba. Jabba. Sound like Jabba. Jabba the Hood. <laughs> Georgia. Georgia. Sound like Georgia. Jora. Jora. Jora, um, yeah, serves him right, kidnapping Tyrion. <laughs> she told you she don't want to see you no more. Nice. And then you want to the queen. I got a kid. Oh, no. yeah. Your queen going to be married and you going to turn mad. I'm just saying. Oh, he is in love with her, so. Yeah, he an idiot. I don't want that old fart. No. <laughs> and then Daenerys has decided to marry. Yeah, what's his name? I can't I think, pronounce his name. I, I just think he 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 started all that mess. And because you killed that servant, they thought you were on their side. Yeah, but now they now everybody against her. Yeah, the masters yeah. and the slaves. Yeah, well, yeah. You kill him because you he killed the person that tried to, that killed. Yeah, yeah. She just need to get it together now. Stannis is marching on to Winterfell. Yeah. Um, I honestly I hope he takes Winterfell. I really well. Thank you guys for joining us on this journey. We appreciate it. Love the comments. Thank you guys so much for the comments. If this is your first time joining us on this journey, please hit the subscribe button. And as always, give us a thumbs up, like, and comment. Until next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.